iPhone 8 Plus versus Samsung Galaxy Note 8 speed test. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 8 Plus versus the Galaxy Note 8 speed test. Now I do have these guys in cases because these are both thousand dollar phones. I want to scratch them here but because I'd be slamming them on the table here. But let's go ahead and boot these guys up in three, two, one. And let's see which one does boot up first here. So the Note 8 logo is showing first here over the Apple logo. And the Apple does have the A11 Bionic chip. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 has the Snapdragon 835 with six gigs of RAM. We have three gigs of RAM here over on the iPhone 8 Plus. And it looks like the iPhone is gonna take this one. So takes down Samsung on the boot up test here. And we're still waiting on Samsung. And there is the Note 8. So a clear win here to the iPhone 8 Plus on the boot up. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and pay attention to the battery life here in this video so we can see how much it does drain throughout it. So here I have 95% on the iPhone 8 Plus to begin here. And over here on the Note 8, we do have 85%. This should be a good tail sign of, you know, how good the battery life does perform in heavy use because when we're testing all this stuff, it does kind of use a lot of battery life. Okay guys, so I do like to begin my speed test on the lock screens just to see how fast they respond to the power button. So let's do this at the same time in three, two, one. And you can see it looks like the iPhone 8 Plus responds just a little bit quicker. Let's do this again in three, two, and one. And you can see once again, it just looks like the iPhone 8 Plus responds just a little bit quicker. But one thing I wanna mention, I mentioned this in all my videos where we're talking about an iPhone versus an Android, specifically the Samsung Android, is that when you are on the home screen here on the lock screen, you can always just hit the fingerprint scanner here on a Samsung and go right in. On the iPhone, you actually have to unlock the screen. Now, if you do have Raise to Wake on, this is kind of irrelevant, but not everybody uses Raise to Wake, but whereas on a Samsung, you can always just hit the fingerprint scanner and go in. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do a fingerprint scanner test on the lock screen to see which one is quicker. So we're gonna boot these up at the same time in three, two, and one. And it looks like the iPhone had the jump, but the animation slowed it down a little bit. So maybe to the Note 8. Let's do this one more time. And if I'm missing anything, you guys let me know down below in the comments. So it looks like the iPhone 8 Plus might be a little bit faster to actually get in, but the Note 8's animation making it faster. So this one's pretty much a draw in my eye here. Now I do wanna mention that the iPhone 8's setup process for the fingerprint scanner is much faster than the Note 8. This is so refined when you do a fingerprint scanner, even better than on the 7 Plus. So very good fingerprint scanner here for the 8 Plus, the best touch ID ever on an iPhone. The Samsung has an awkward location. It is very fast though, and it does set up, you know, pretty decently, but the setup process can sometimes be a pain because it's just not very accurate to go ahead and set it up here on this awkward corner. So overall, I would say in terms of speed, they're about the same. Um, iPhone just feels a little bit better, a little bit more refined. Okay guys, so this is running iOS 11 15A372. We're running Android 7.1.1 Nougat here on the Note 8, and just generally going through the user interface, both are very smooth. I think the Note 8 might be a little bit smoother right now. This first version of iOS 11 has been pretty choppy in my experience on the iPhone. The iPhone 8's running it better than a lot of the iPhones, but overall there's been a little bit of chop here. So I think the Note 8's slightly smoother on its home screens. That doesn't make it faster, but it feels a little bit smoother on its home screens in my experience so far. But this is just my experience here. Okay guys, so let's get on to the application speed test now. So I'm gonna close out everything there on the iPhone 8. You can see no recently used apps here for the Note 8. And we're gonna go ahead and run this application speed test now. So let's begin with calendar on both devices in three, two, one. And you can see that looks like it was a little faster for the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's go ahead and go into the clock now in three, two, and one. And that looked a little bit faster on the Note 8. Now the Note 8 does have 1X animations across the board here. Let's go ahead and go into calculator on both in three, two, one. And that one looked about even. Let me know down below in the comments on the calculator. So what about settings? Three, two, and one. And you can see the iPhone 8 Plus clearly on that one. Coming home, let's go ahead and go into the phone dialers in three, two, one. And you can see that looked like clearly the iPhone 8 in my experience there are my, what I seen in my visual field. So let's go ahead and go into the camera. And you can see it looks like the iPhone 8 was slightly ahead again. Now in terms of taking pictures, 
the iPhone 8 might be slightly faster in terms of taking the picture as well. So what about Pinterest here? So Pinterest loads first there for the Note 8. So the Note 8 gets a win there on Pinterest. Let's go ahead and go into YouTube here. And you could see YouTube is first there for the iPhone 8 Plus. So coming home here, let's go ahead and go into Instagram. And you could see Instagram loads first there on the Note 8. That looked faster on the Note 8 in my eye. So Twitter is going to load faster on the Note 8. I know it because Android always has a better Twitter app. So you can see Twitter is ready to go. Then the iPhone 8 Plus. That has to do with the Twitter app. I don't know why. It's just not as optimized on iOS. So let's go ahead and go into Snapchat. And you can see Snapchat is actually faster on the Note 8, but we all know it's a better running application on the iPhone 8 Plus. So they're kind of trading blows here in terms of speed. Overall, I think the 8 Plus might be a little bit faster, though. So here's where I think the iPhone 8 Plus is going to destroy the Note 8, and that's in gaming. So let's go ahead and go into Jetpack Joyride. And you can see the little pop-up notification to still handily beat the Note 8, which it does. So easily beats the Note 8 on a casual game. So let's go ahead and go into the Play Store and the App Store. Let me go ahead and put that back in portrait mode. Let's go ahead and go into Play Store and the App Store. And you can see the App Store was actually ahead here. That's kind of surprising because Play Store usually in my testing always loads first over the App Store. I'm going to do that one again here, Play Store, App Store. And yeah, the App Store was first there. So they've improved the App Store quite a bit. Definitely a nicer look as well. So what about Amazon Shopping? And let's see, I see the iPhone 8 Plus winning that one. Let's go ahead and go into the real boxing so i do have real boxing on both of these in three two one and you can see way ahead here on the iphone we're already in the game we're still waiting on the note 8 so an easy win for the iphone 8 plus here easy win so sorry note 8 you're not winning there when it comes to speed now i'm just gonna go ahead and put that rotation lock on it's getting a little bit annoying here but there's one thing i do want to mention about the note 8 just because you don't get as fast of an experience as the iphone 8 plus you get a more immersive experience. So you gotta decide, do you want speed or do you want this immersive experience because you get an all screen display here. On the iPhone 8 Plus, you might get faster speeds, a little bit better optimized, and you do have the benefit of having like bezels here to hold on to when you are gaming. But both are gonna give you a fantastic gaming experience, a little bit faster on the iPhone 8 Plus, a better experience in terms of my opinion when it comes to immersion on the Note 8. So it really comes down to your personal preference. So what about no limits, need for speed? And there's a more graphically intensive game here on both devices. That's why I downloaded this one to see this true power of their GPUs. So Apple designed GPU on the 8 Plus looks to be ahead of the Note 8. And we're still waiting on the Note 8. And there's the iPhone 8 Plus. So as it is every year, it seems like the iPhone 8 Plus is the champ in speed once again, as it pretty much does every year. But uh, I, I really, in my experience, I really don't think that speed is the only factor these days. It's more about the overall experience and what you personally, to your personal bias, is what you like to use. Because when you're not playing these guys side by side, you're not using them, comparing them side by side, both are going to feel super fast. So let's go ahead and run a video application render now. So I downloaded Magisto on both of these and I'm gonna go ahead and make a movie here on both. This is the same exact video render. We're gonna hit make my movie in three, two, one. And we're gonna hit no thanks on the title. And we should see which one does load first. So the iPhone 8 Plus looks a little bit different. They're creating the movie. You can see it uploading here on the Note 8. And let's see which one does finish this render first. So you can see the iPhone wins this hands down in the movie making abilities or editing 4K or whatever. If you're gonna be doing video editing, powerhouse processing, you can see just in this application right here, the iPhone has the stuff to do that with. Are you going to be editing on a phone this small? Who knows? We're going to have to see how people, how this plays out. If people are going to be making videos right on their phone. I mean, I know a lot of people already do that, but I don't see myself doing it that much, but that's just me. So we're still waiting on the Note 8 here. And you can see the iPhone 8 Plus is just so much faster when it comes to stuff like this, when it gets into the more professional video editing and things like that. Although some would say, well, I like my S Pen to go ahead and tweak where I'm editing, you know, making cuts and stuff. But you can see we're still waiting. And there is the Note 8 finally, about two minutes later, maybe a minute later on the Note 8. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and run through these applications through multitasking to see how they hold in the RAM management. And then we'll do a Geekbench and wrap this video up. So let's begin with Calendar here in both devices. And you can see both held it pretty good in the background. It looks like the animation flew in faster there for the iPhone 8 Plus. Now remember, we don't have 0.5x animations on the Note 8. So if I did that, it would probably look faster than the 8 Plus. 
So you can see about the same. So both are holding the applications in the background pretty good. I think the iPhone 8 Plus is doing a better job of showing you the app flying in faster than the Note 8. Camera, you can see the 8 Plus here coming home. Let's go ahead into Pinterest. And the reload, that was a reload there for the iPhone 8 Plus. So let's go ahead and go into YouTube. And it looks like the 8 Plus is ready. What about Instagram? And it looks like the Note 8 was ready there. So it doesn't look like the Note 8 is getting that many wins. And Twitter surprisingly reloads faster, even though the first load was quicker on the Note 8. Snapchat and coming home, let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you could see the iPhone 8 Plus just ripping through this multitasking. The I Note 8 did really well right there in that one. And a little bit of a reload there on the Note 8. So what about the real boxing? And we got a reload there, surprisingly, on the iPhone 8 Plus. That was weird. But anyway, let's go ahead and go into No Limits. And you can see there is the iPhone 8 Plus. A reload there on the Note 8. What about Magisto? That looked about the same. You could see a multitasking. It looks like the iPhone 8 is again ahead. It looks like Apple is again ahead in the multitasking RAM management. But the Note 8 is surprisingly very good. As you've seen in this test, it's definitely going to be a very good multitasking experience using this phone. Now, let's go ahead and go into Geekbench here. And let's go to CPU benchmark on both and run this benchmark. I will be back when they are done. I expect the iPhone 8 Plus to crush it, but we're going to have to see here. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in. You can see a 4260 here on the iPhone 8 Plus, 9795 on the multi-core just crushing the Note 8 there with an 1869 and a 6079 on the multi-core there. Now, I don't know why, but the iPhone 8 Plus just got super dim and I just went to display accommodations and it's not seeming to get brighter. So I don't know what's going on. I might have a defect here on my device or maybe it's just a feature I haven't been aware of yet. But anyway, I just wanted to mention here that the iPhone 8 Plus technically and in the real world is quicker than the Note 8. It feels quicker. It's a little bit faster but that's not what you're buying a note 8 for so keep that in mind you're not buying a note 8 just to have the fastest phone in the world the note 8 has the s pen which makes it a game changer for smartphones if you're into the s pen it's a niche thing somebody don't some people don't care i care some people don't care though but the iphone 8 plus gives you a fantastic rear camera glass back wireless charging but you don't get fast wireless charging it's just wireless charging here so these are pretty close phones it comes down to what you want both for around the same price if you go to 256 gig here you get samsung's phone you get the 256 gig micro sd card with their package deal or you get a 360 gear camera so you're getting a better deal here on the note 8 hands down when it comes to paying for these phones here and during my testing here the battery life went from 95 percent to 88 percent here on the iphone 8 plus that's going to give you a seven percent decrease here in this video went from 85 to 80 here on the note 8 so five percent decrease so it looks like battery might be better on the galaxy note 8 in my experience in this video so far anyway that's it here between the iphone 8 plus and the samsung galaxy note 8 here if you guys found this video enjoyable helpful go ahead and click the like button for me share it with a friend who might be deciding between one of these two phones and if you're new here consider subscribing nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace